Unthinkable! The chatter of the nightly parties fell into silence. In place of the sumptuous banquet, weapons to protect the capital were rolled in. Griswold is in turmoil over the shocking news, but who would have thought that underneath the chaos lay an even greater story? Aurelia's exploitation of Laysath was all a ruse. In fact, Aurelia had been Laysath's largest benefactor in aid. The truth remained hidden from the public, while any aid meant for food was spent on arms. Why did this happen? Why was a lavish party held to boast a performance of their newest weapon? The trail of money surrounding Diego Navarro would lead me to the answer. Diego Navarro is not only Laysath's commanding officer, but also controls their arms industry. He has used continued conflict as a means to amass an enormous fortune. This war was conceived as a replacement for the Civil War to further increase arms sales. I can't help but wonder how much of this truth the soldiers risking their lives for Laysath really know. The classified documents contained much more than just information on the Airborne Fortress. The transfer of financial revenue and commodities were also recorded in great detail. What does all of this have to do with Laysath's commanding officer Diego Navarro? Even after all that's happened, why does he still seem so naturally at ease? I've unwittingly found myself fearing for the safety of the Southern Cross. All right, let me brief you on the main locations on the route to Griswold. Sir, please choose a route. First, remnant enemy soldiers are regrouping at the Kalana Steps and are planning an attack on Santa Elva. They currently aren't a threat, but we are curious as to what they're planning. I guess we're not much different from them in size or strength. The enemy special forces skill unit has set up camp at Sachana Air Base. They're not a squad you want to take on directly, but they're currently busy preparing to send reinforcements to the Kalana Steps. This might be the perfect time to catch them off guard. It appears that Laysaf forces are shipping supplies to a large-scale manufacturing plant in Montebris. It seems that they're manufacturing something, but there is a large radar facility close by on Mount Nevera. The Nevera Jammer is located there, and we're unable to monitor their movements. The jamming extends as far as Griswold, so we need to do something about it. Although we really need to find out what's going on at Monte Breeze as well. Our capital is not far ahead. However, Griswold is heavily fortified and protected by the Mesem Cannon. Fierce resistance is expected, but we must pull together and take back Griswold. We are planning a sup-
The surprise attack was a success. Sachana Air Base is back in our hands. Air power from the base will be a vital asset, especially in the battle to retake Griswold. I have the feeling the day of our capital's liberation is not far off.